The medical information in this video is provided as an information resource only and it is not to be used or relied on for any diagnostic or treatment purposes. Please consult your healthcare provider before making any healthcare decisions prior to starting an exercise routine or for guidance about a specific medical condition. Hi and welcome to another video from the Demystifying Medicine YouTube channel. Today's episode is brought to you in partnership with Pace McMaster. PACE or Physical Activity Center of Excellence is located at McMaster University in Hamilton, Ontario and it offers multiple research-based exercise programs supervised by staff, students and physiotherapy services. One such program is called Max Seniors, an Arabic and resistance training program personalized for community members 50 years of age and older. So for this video, we have collaborated with PACE to explore the effects of physical activity on older adults. We will start with investigating the impacts of exercise on physical and mental health. Then, we will learn about high-intensity interval training and demonstrate a couple of safe exercises that you can try at home without any special equipment. Physically, exercise can bring about numerous health benefits. In fact, physical activity has a critical role in weight management, flexibility, building up strength, and increasing endurance. However, what you may not know is that exercise can also protect our bodies and supplement treatments for a wide variety of diseases. According to the American College of Sports Medicine, 150 minutes of physical activity per week can help prevent and manage chronic conditions like cancer, type 2 diabetes, and cardiovascular diseases. This is particularly significant for adults above 60 years of age as they are generally more prone to such disorders and about 80% of them have at least one chronic condition. For example, a recent nationwide study with about 1.1 million participants looked into the impacts of exercise frequency on individuals above the age of 60 with no prior history of cardiovascular disorder. The researchers analyzed the health effects for a three-year period between 2013 and 2016. The results showed that older adults with increased exercise frequency had up to 11% reduced risk of cardiovascular problems. On the other hand, those who gradually become physically inactive were 27% more likely to experience strokes or other cardiac events. Let's have a closer look at how exercise does its magic. To begin with, physical activity can enhance energy expenditure to achieve improved weight control thereby it eliminates obesity, one of the significant risk factors for the majority of chronic diseases. Additionally, your body uses blood glucose as the primary energy source to fuel your workouts. Therefore, exercise can lower your blood glucose level and boost your sensitivity to insulin, countering type 2 diabetes. The high energy expenditure also means that oxygen and sugar in the blood need to be delivered faster to your muscles. To accommodate this, your body increases the diameter of blood vessels, a phenomenon known as vasodilation. Aside from that, studies of exercise training trials have reported lower concentrations of inflammatory molecules and higher levels of good cholesterol in physically active adults. These factors combined will deaccelerate the hardening of the arteries and reduce the risk of subsequent cardiovascular disorders. Moreover, as we age, our sense of balance is likely to decrease due to the loss of sensory elements and skeletal muscle function. This is perhaps why falls are the leading cause of fatal injury among older adults. Emerging research has revealed that exercise can slow down the age-related loss of motor function. In fact, scientific reports provide strong evidence that physical activity reduces the risk of fall-related injuries in older people by about 32 to 40 percent. Now, let's talk about the relatively less known effects of exercise, its psychological impacts. Exercise significantly decreases daily stress and loneliness, it promotes positive attitudes towards life, and improves self-esteem. Let's take a closer look into how exercise impacts your brains. When you exercise, your body releases chemicals called endorphins. Endorphins bind to your brain receptors and reduce the perception of pain. They also possess morphine-like effects, 
In other words, they can create a feeling of euphoria and make you feel relaxed. However, unlike morphine, exercise-induced endorphins are completely harmless. Exercise also upregulates the synthesis of dopamine and serotonin. Both dopamine and serotonin are neurotransmitters that are highly involved in regulating your mood. But dopamine also plays a vital role in creating the sense of pleasure and reward. A study of 1.2 million individuals in the United States between 2011 and 2015 showed individuals who exercised had 43.2% fewer days of poor mental health than individuals who did not exercise but were otherwise matched. Another study also found a significant decrease in depression scores after the implementation of an exercise program in elderly population over the age of 60. According to the researchers from the Wake Forest University of School of Medicine, exercise could even be potentially effective in treating cases of minor depression. Of course, this does not mean that everyone with depression can be cured with exercise, but rather goes to show the positive impact that exercise can have on our mental status if we incorporate it into our everyday lives. So now that you learned about the benefits of exercise, let's talk about how you can start. Hooray! One easy way for you to start is high intensity interval training. High intensity interval training, or in short, HEAT, is essentially a workout regimen that shifts between brief periods of intense physical activity and rest. Dr. Martin Gibala, the science research chair in integrative exercise physiology here at McMaster University, describes high intensity interval training as going hard and then backing off. According to Dr. Gibala, one of the main advantages of high-intensity interval training is the enjoyment factor. High-intensity interval training mimics natural play. Think about the children playing in the park. They don't jog at a moderate pace for the entire time, but instead it is a continuous series of rests and sprints. This alternating pattern of relatively hard effort, taking a break and then repeating that could be indeed very effective, especially for older adults. For instance, a study conducted by Huang et al. found that high-intensity interval training is safe, doable, and carries minimal risk of adverse effects in older adults when properly performed. Even better is that high-intensity interval training actually showed improvements in heart function, decreased insulin resistance, and overall made the elderly subjects more aerobically fit. To conclude our video, we are joined by Zalada Bishef, certified personal trainer, Pace a student volunteer and a strength and conditioning coach for McMaster Varsity athletes. You can find her on Instagram or by visiting zaladabishopfitness.com. In this last segment, she will demonstrate a beginner level high intensity interval training routine that you can try at home without the need for any equipment. Remember to modify as needed or skip any exercises that do not feel right for you. So get ready to exercise.